This is Dave Keyes, and today I want to talk a little bit about thin content, relevant content, relevance of a website, and some perceptions or notions about content and what's considered good content. Often people think content is a count of words. How many words should I have in an article? And what size of an article or a post or a page does Google like now? Etc. Etc. But if you think that content is a wall of a thousand words that Google likes better than 25 words, you might be mistaken. Let's take a look at an example by Google themselves. Okay, Google. Google Drive. Now here's our result. The first one is their site. Let's have a look at the site. Okay. Looking at the content, we have a pretty picture. We have a line of text. We have a button to go to the product and an icon. A little down arrow to indicate that we can scroll down and see more content. Here is an icon. It's just a graphic that opened up in a typical slider and a title and a sentence. And another pretty picture and another title and a short sentence and a graphic. Yet another picture in the parallax section here and some more images and a title and some text. No links there. Finally, a call to action with a link and a button that both take you to the product and a footer. So let's look at the main content. Here is Meat Drive, which is this page, then Using Drive, which is another similar page with a pretty picture. Looks like a high-speed train going through the countryside of France, perhaps. Those looks a lot like a train that I went through France on back in early 2000s. And it looked a lot like this when I took photos from the window as well, because it was going about 210 miles an hour. So interesting picture and a headline and... Here's some more accordion style content with images and a couple of sentences. Same thing here. Things that you might worry about, well, if that's part of a, an, a you know hidden content or anything like that, does Google penalize it, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And more of the same and the footer. The entire site is like this. If you go into the help, eventually it moves over to support.google.com. The whole thing does, actually. So that's not the same, quote, website. Now, this is siloed, uh, of course, as a page. But still, this is what ranks. This, by many definitions, many b people would call this thin content. But it's valuable content. It presents something of value. And... It's what Google has algorithmically chosen as the result for Google Drive. And here are the links to this particular URL. Using Majestic, we have an even balance between trust flow and citation flow. We have um, good metrics on here. 2,700 domains linked to this with 59,000 links to this particular URL. Some attorney sites have that many links. Number one result. There are a number of reasons for this, but certainly we don't have some kind of penalty because there aren't enough words on the page. One more check here. Domain authority of Google, of course, is 100. There's an indicator. And the page authority is 82, according to Moss. So without delving too much into 
specific implications, this is just to point out that content is not necessarily something aligned with common perceptions about number of, number of words, paragraphs, length of article, any of that. There's a relevance factor that's judged by a lot of external signals as well, as you can see this example here. And you may say the rules are different for Google, but they come under heavy criticism whenever they're caught bending the rules even to put their own ads ahead of others. Pretty much, they follow the algorithm and let it do what it does and rank what it ranks, and this is what happens. Of course, Google Drive is its own brand, which is another whole topic entirely about the strength of a brand and what it can do for rank, ranking of search results for all kinds of things when you have a strong brand underlying your particular search. So, we're going to end this here. This is Dave Keyes signing off. Yeah.